Good morning everybody, my name is Osa and we are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Maple Farm and it is very early in the morning on the last day of November and it's raining. So it's due to rain through to about 9 o'clock so what I might do is hang around the farm for a bit maybe get some stuff ready and uh, once the sun starts coming up we can get down to the work for the day so what's been going on at the farm I am seriously considering knocking this pair of sheds down and just replacing it with one shed probably with doors um, right now, not going to be doing that. We do have 15 more cows, so our total cow count is up to 30. Um, but we've got 383,000 litres of food, so I'm not worried about them running out anytime soon. And really, the limit on food production here has been the mineral feed. As soon as I put 10,000 litres of mineral feed in the, sh um, in the silo, it uses all of it and so fine we're good we've got loads of straw 96,000 litres of straw as bedding we've got lots of um, other um, components of uh, TMR so it requires the mineral feed and yeah we're good with that Health is 66%. I'm guessing that's because of the new cows. Uh, let's take a look. Health is 100. Health is 100. And health is 0. Yeah, so that's why it's 66% is because our new cows are new. Now, if I replace those two sheds with one, I may knock down this silo bunker and put in a pair but not right now actually that would be interesting um, sales class Torian sinus that's a uh, small wheel loader and the bike on fast bed so not interested in any of those um, construction sheds I wish I could get a close-up so that's a small garage 106 Oh, these are all the base game ones. Okay. Um, those are the old easy sheds. Maple farm sheds. So there's one with an open front. One with a pitched roof. Um, oh, there are others. So we've got a big shed like that, big shed like that, a couple like this. Um, and I have heard using these is not... doesn't benefit as much as it did in 19. So I guess we can launch into talking about that. Um, a lot of the old Farm Sim 19 equipment had a big overlap so here we are there we are so you might end up with if i crouch down you can see the rear we the the rear planting point on that is wider than the front row basically the rear rows offset to the left so what you might have ended up with is us um, using a worker it would use the front wheel on this side as its um, working width and the back wheel on this side as its working width so there's a little bit of overlay uh, overlap so that you end up not you know it takes more passes to see the field and there's no best bits well, what precision farming does is it pushes the working width out a little bit 
so that it's being more efficient in the passes up and down. The problem is that the new equipment added in FarmSim 22 has a better definition of working width. And so if you use the RTK stations, it leaves a, a, a narrow row between each pass. So we're probably not going to add any RTK stations to our farm this time around. What I want to know is um, our equipment. We've got a lot of equipment. We're doing quite nicely. This is an 85 horsepower cedar. However, I kind of want to use the uh, GPS on it. So uh, we will use our uh, Deutz. So potentially the last job I'm going to be using this cedar for, we may get a new one next year. Um, strongly considering this one, which is a 240, I'm probably going to need a bigger tractor. But it is 8 meter, it does seed and fertilize. And, uh, for right now, I just need to plant a field of grass when it stops raining. The, uh, we only have 495 litres in there, so we've just emptied that. The button that opens the lid on this planter, I think, because, or cedar, because it has the option of running with fertiliser, um, you have to press the button twice to open the seed container, even if you don't have the fertiliser. Bucket. Oh, we've also paid off 50,000 of our loan again. So we're now down to 50,000 left, which from today onwards will reduce our interest payments, which is a good thing. So I'm going to jump out of that. And we will speed up time to nine o'clock. See if the sun rises and uh, the rain dissipates. So yeah, last Saturday we had a problem with, uh, with Twitch. So I didn't end up streaming, but I did hire a worker and some equipment to plow this field. Big Tall Man Gaming, good day. Welcome to Saturday Stream. How have you been? Um, yeah, so sorry, we plowed this field. We plowed the field over there. I leased a um, lime spreader and spread out both these fields. So we now have good pH, they don't need plowing and all we need to do is we're going to reseed this one with grass and then this one over here is gonna be an arable field and I'm probably gonna seed it with soybeans um, which means I can still use the seeder we have it's gonna take time because these are big fields um, this field here is growing nicely, although the expected yield sucks. Um, pH is good. Yeah, it's only down one level, so it shouldn't really be adversely affecting um, the yield. 
I'm kind of worried that it might be due to the herbicide. So what I'm thinking of doing for this feed, oh, if I put soybeans in it, it won't, we won't be able to tell. But um, oops. what I'm considering doing on, uh, on at least one of these fields sometime is to plant, fertilize, and then herbicide late and see if it does impact the yield. Um, but I guess for right now, the rain is gone. Um, is 495 litres of seed sufficient? I do wish we had the realistic seeder mod. Um, it's kind of fun to use. But it basically it lets you buy uh, crop specific seeds and disables the um, whatever it is on. That's not the. That's not the button I wanted. That one. Um, the seed uh, select. So the Y key. Um, it disabled that on cedars. So you couldn't change what was in the cedar. If you wanted to plant a different crop, you had to buy a different seed. But uh, we don't have that capability at this time. Excuse me while I think which way I'm supposed to be reversing, that'll do. Oh, the other big news of this weekend, Maze Plus got released this morning. Um, I am not playing with Maze Plus at this time. I may not use it on this playthrough. And part of the reason is, is it doesn't work with the robot feeders, which every cow barn on this map is a robot feeder. Uh, barn and patchwork. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Okay, we are set up. We will auto width four and a half meters, and I am going to drop it to four point four. Okay, we are going. A heading, set A, heading zero, back, X, lower the C, lower the cedar. Don't think you have to activate this one. This one is just run on, um, set this up hmm. bear with me a second I will look up keys and GPS did I remap things right, it's radio Kubota Vermeer Contracts, cultivated dusty lands, easy development, follow me, guidance steering, shift track right, shift track left. Save controls. Okay. So now, there we go, we can reposition the, uh, oh it does have a turn on, okay, let's back up again. And go, okay, so seeding grass, yay. So yes, um, having hired a plowman for this field, um, I did have to scoop up an awful lot of rocks. 
Um, so last weekend was pretty much a worker ploughing, me scooping up rocks. And I used the bucket, so but it still took a couple of hours. And then spreading lime. So that is all done. As, as I said, we're still working on the, the small cheap equipment. Oh, another thing we learned this week, the crop sensors. Um, don't use them when you're seeding. Uh, crop sensors detect the nitrogen levels in a crop. So if there is no crop on the ground, the crop sensors technically don't work. Um, and they can cause problems with your um, seeding coverage. So the thing you need to do is, while you can seed with a, with a uh, seeder that has um, fertilizer, really what you want to do is just let it do an automatic with the solid fertilizer that you're planting. And then go back later with either a solid or liquid spray. Uh, solid spread uh, liquid sprayer turn the crop sensors on and get your environmental score top up um, for fully fertilized properly so at the moment not an issue we just have a straight seed that doesn't do fertilization so there's nothing to worry about but when we do start working our way up the equipment we are definitely going to need to think about um, fertilizing on the plant and then going back and fertilizing a second time, which is kind of what farmers do anyway. But you must make sure that you turn off the crop sensor or you can end up with um, strange things happening with your seeding. I think it leaves stripes. I can't remember whether it's in the fertilization map or whether it's in the um, in the seeding map. But you really don't want to miss miss bits when you're seeding. So I've been watching the uh, the Maze Plus videos this morning, and they have a new piece of equipment, which is a a sort of a grass cultivator. So if you have grass fields that need to be ploughed, you can run that over the field, and it will remove the needs ploughed state without doing what I've done here, which is destroying all of the crop in the ground. So we ripped up all of the grass and then now we're having to put it all back and if i had a a grass uh, cultivator that would not be a problem for us this tractor does slightly outperform the turn hitch capabilities of this cedar so the plan here i'm doing alternate rows and then we'll do the headlands um, separately heading in that direction up and down that way so what else do we know so yeah if I want a bigger seeder I probably want a bigger tractor that doesn't have the crop sensors so that we don't have issues with planting and um, laying down the initial layer of fertilizer. Uh, what else is in Maze Plus? So yeah, Maze Plus, you know, obviously most of it is the silage thing where you've got corn silage, whole crop silage, grass silage, four stages of grass so um, 
you have oops, fresh grass, you have conditioned grass, you have getting stuck on the pole, um, semi-dry grass, and then you have hay. Mowers can make conditioned grass. Uh, tedders turn conditioned grass or dry grass into conditioned grass and then into semi-dry and then hay. So a lot of what we were used to in Farm Sim 19. Um, obviously clover and horse grass and alfalfa not available there specific to a map but the functionality is in the game for that too or in the mod for that too the whole animal food mixing thing is changed um, they have a mod for grazing so theoretically we could turn grazing on and they would eat the grass our cows would eat the grass in that field over there um, but as I said it doesn't work with the robot feeder um, which would kind of necessitate our shed being removed and replaced with a normal shed and then doing all the maze plus stuff from there um, so it may be something that Cavalier Roy considers or it may not be I should have done triple rows rather than doubles uh, anyway that mostly covers the stuff there was a sale of a harvester um, Actually, there was a sale of that harvester there for about 120,000. Maybe 140, but yeah. A hundred and few numbers. And I was struggling whether to buy it or not. And the consideration was it's November. I've used a harvester for this year. I'm not going to need another harvester until August next year. So do I want to buy a used harvester and have it sitting in my shed for nine months? Or do I want to save that money potentially for other things and worry about harvester next fall? Now the thing is with the harvester is we leased one last year because we only had one field to harvest. This year we're going to have two fields to harvest but again it's not a lot. So maybe not owning a harvester isn't critical at this time. Plus, there's the potential, potential that another harvester will come up on sale, um, which is a better deal. Be a bit sad if no harvester comes up because um, we kind of missed out on one. But I'm thinking I want a, tr I want a big attractor and I want a big cedar. Although, again. We've got these two fields to plant and then that's it, we're done. And what I don't want to do is buy a cedar, for, a, a for sale cedar in spring when I'm not going to use one for six months. Um, I don't really like tying up my um, money in equipment I don't have a use for right this minute. Now that said, um, obviously if I do need do have a need for something, it's much better to buy something that's on sale and maybe later upgrade it. So while that New Holland Harvester is a little bit on the small side, it would be something I'd be looking at upgrading later anyway. 
I don't know. I'm still, as you can tell, undecided whether a skipping out on it was a good idea or a bad idea. But it has allowed us to sell or to pay down the debt a little bit more. I could pay off the debt completely. Although I think the plan now is um, we're in November, it's the last month we can plant anything. I'm not sure if it's just grass or whether it's there are a couple of other things we're allowed to plant. Maybe we'll check on that when we start the next row. That in go and what was I gonna do? Um, crop calendar. So we can plant wheat, barley, oats, and grass. So if I wanted to, I could plant wheat or barley in that field, or oats. How are we doing with seed? We are going to need some more seed, okay. I think the seed it is cheaper to buy it in packs at the store and bring it to the farm but um, I may just hey Starbuck yes was just talking about uh, maize plus has come in um, probably not using it on this map unless Cavalier Roy says it's okay to. One of the reasons is that the uh, the robot feed cow shed does not work with Maze Plus. And I think the reason was because the robot can't keep up with the cow feed requirements. Um, because the cow feed requirements have significantly increase. Um, we're, you know, we can probably quite happily feed 700 cows in our shed without any problems whatsoever from the robot. It's just providing all the silage, hay and straw and mineral feed to make it. Um, but with Maze Plus, um, they were basically saying if you look at the small um, cow thing, animals, cows, this one, uh, base game with the cat or with the